It's been a thousand years, but we're back at America's thrift stores. I either find gold or absolutely nothing. I think last time I came, I found like an actual Holy Grail little cat friend. I don't know why I wanted to use that door. Um, so let's go, let's see what we find. I hope they didn't get divorced. Well, maybe that was a party favor and they were like, why do I have this? I don't want this, you know? Um, and then we have some precious moments. We're always looking for the precious moments dolls for Brett. This is from 2007. It still has hot cocoa in it. So that's kind of iconic and delicious. And then we always look here because sometimes they can put like dolls here, like nice ones. And also precious moments dolls, which Brett is looking for. Um, but yeah, nothing too crazy. Oh, and I always look here too, because like branded merch will show up over here. This is very organized compared to the usual. Put down the gun. Ah. And unfortunately they like turned on the music really loud when we were over here. So it's like they, they see me coming in and they're like, all right, turn up the music. Anyway, I found a brat doll immediately. And I was really surprised this time because, oh, there's Love's Glam. There were a lot of OMGs, like you'll see. Uh, there's a Bratz boy. I don't collect Bratz boys, and I don't have any friends that are like specifically seeking out like random ones like that. I would buy like ones that I know are more uncommon for my friends, but like that one was whatever. I was kind of tempted by the, um, what are they called, candy locks or something? I love those, but used ones are kind of questionable. They're kind of hard to wash. Um, I was also kind of tempted by Nicole, but I was like, no, I have doubles of her already. Uh, and then I found Ivy Winks, I think is her name. That's one of the tweens. I really like her. And then this cute Lala Loopsy who I keep looking at. And then a na na na. You see, I'm like, wait, she's cute. But I don't really collect Lala Loopsies. I only pick up the ones that really speak to me. And of course the Lala Loopsy girls. I love the Lala Loopsy girls. And then Boba Bubbles, who I actually bought earlier at uh, TJ Maxx. So that was kind of funny, but she's missing her uh, fin, unfortunately. And I checked the price too, because I was like, I want to save you, but it's okay. And then that bootleg had a really pretty face. And then we had, what is that, Fancy Nancy or something? I don't remember. Um, more random dolls. And that Barbie's really pretty. Do y'all know who she is? <laughs> Please don't comment. Be like, oh my god, go buy that. Like, it's fine. <laughs> uh, anyway, lots of tennis balls. I didn't see those when I was there, actually. I had my eyes on the prize. I was tempted to get, is her name Honey Marin? Like the, the other Frozen 2 girl and the boy was at the top. But I didn't end up getting them for whatever reason, even though I do want them. Are there Disney store versions of them? I would want Disney store versions because the outfits are slightly, and I mean slightly nicer. They had the Car Fox, which was weird. <laughs> um, and I always just like glance at the plushies. I don't go too, um, I don't look too much there, which maybe I should. And then I started finding stuff right away over here. And I don't normally look too closely here, but man, I'm glad that I did. So I see some palace pets here and nothing too exciting yet but we'll get there and then up here um doesn't look like anything is, oh is that a little angels i love the brats little angels and the brats pets but uh if she had had outfits i would have gotten her oh my god that is a crazy find we'll talk about it we will talk about it but i was like oh my god no way brett wasn't with me so i couldn't i had to contain my excitement but you can see i'm like reeling that's why i stopped for a second uh, and then there was a honeybee acres i dropped it in my bed put it back good citizen <laughs> Um, and then I'm just looking in the other bags to see if there's anything good. It's just, I really scrutinize this section for Little Pet Shops and My Little Ponies. If I look, I kind of glance, and if I don't see anything super, like, colorful and girly, I won't look, just because, like, there tends to be a bunch of, like, absolute nonsense. But at my store, I've had pretty good luck in this section. I don't know. I found some really nice G1s over here once. G1 My Little Ponies, which are, like, the 80s ones. This was one of the good bags, yeah. There's a, that, those fairy wings, I was... I thought I knew what those were, but I wasn't sure, so I put it down, but I ended up picking it up again, so you'll see. <laughs> um, and then, oop, score, another one of those, we'll talk about it. And that Care Bear is a really cool find, too, but again, we'll talk about it later. I dropped my brat. <laughs> uh, pick up my brat doll. And then that's a large Littlest Pet Shop from, like, the Hub TV show era, and I'm not showing you at all. Um, yeah, there we go. But I ended up leaving that one. I do have a few of those and I like them, but I'm not like going out of my way to collect them or anything. And she wasn't in great condition. So I left her and then I'm just like looking, I'm looking very closely, like very hard. And then I find the Pokemon. I was like, oh, hello. But I think this is when Brett finally turned up. Yeah, you could see his hand. I was like, bro, Toxapex Pokemon, cute. Uh, we do collect, we collect Pokemon stuff, mostly plushies and video games. Like we don't really mess with the other stuff too much, but I like the figures. I didn't pick that up for some reason, even though that's a little special I don't have. I wonder why. Um, but we don't question it. If you don't pick something up, that's a good thing because you're like, you're limiting, you know, you're keeping, you're culling your collection a little bit. You're being selective. It's good. <laughs> that's what we're going to tell ourselves. Um, 
Because at the thrift store, like, everything's cheap, right? It's like, ooh, I could get everything. But at the same time, it's like, do I need this? I don't know. Um, and then I'm scrutinizing the bags that I had already looked at. I kind of wanted this because it's Figaro in there. I thought so. I'm not sure. I, I can't see super well on this. When, when I'm recording the narration, it has a really tiny uh, <laughs> um, camera area. Like, I can't see it too good. But look. So I ended up getting this because... I saw a palace pet in there. That was my, like, justification. And there were some Little's Pet Shops. But I specifically really wanted that. What I thought was a Little's Pet Shop butterfly. I was right. But <laughs> um, I wasn't 100% sure. So I wasn't sure about getting that bag. But ultimately, I was like, if I found, if I got home and found out that that was the Little's Pet Shop that I wanted, I would have been so furious. So I went ahead and got it. And then why did I get this bag? I can't tell. Who knows? We'll find out. It's It's a fun guessing game for all of us involved. Uh, and I'm just really looking closely, so I'm going to cut away because I don't find anything else. All right, you guys, we're here. You know what that means. We had a successful bounty at the thrift store. It's not necessarily enough for a video, but I have a few random packages that I've been wanting to show on camera and just haven't had the right video to do so in. So here we are. Also, my mom mysteriously has sent me two packages from eBay. I saw them on my informed delivery and I was like, was that you? And she said yes. So I'll open those here too. I assume they're dolls. So uh, first I'm going to show you what I got at the thrift store. Also, say hello to this guy. Anyway, here it is. So it's a big bag of stuff, but it's not really a lot of doll stuff. So I, I know I have dolls in these packages to show with you, to show to you guys. But anyway, I'll first show you the doll, the singular doll that we got, which was this Bratz doll. I don't know which Chloe this is. I'm pretty sure I don't have her. I do have quite a few nude or like incomplete Bratz dolls, but I just didn't super recognize this one. I think this is, she looks like my, um, is it fashion show? The one that's like in a formal dress that walks. I have that one. I got her in box actually. That was really cool. Um, she looks like that one, but I don't think it's that one. Like I, if it is, that'd be funny. But her makeup just looked so different. She's definitely like a later, like 2008, 2009-ish one, right before they rebranded. Also, if anyone recognizes this dress, I am desperate to know where it came from. It is so cute. I don't think it's Bratz. Uh, but yeah, so I picked up this Chloe just because not too often you find a Bratz doll and I really like Bratz. I have a ton of extra Bratz outfits, including fashion packs and stuff. So I always try to grab, if it's a Bratz that I don't have or if it's Bratz clothes that I don't have, I'm gonna grab them because they're few and far between these days. So she was a great find and I'm very, very happy to have found her. There are more dolls later in this video, but now we're gonna be moving on to the things that weren't dolls, which we had quite the bounty. So funny enough, but right before I walked into the store, I specifically said, oh, last time I was here, I found that Barbie cat from like the early 2000s like and that was so cool because that was specifically on my wish list I'm working on something right now related to Barbie cats specifically like the vintage ones and then I found that cat which was one that I couldn't find on eBay and I was so shocked and in disbelief that I found that cat and if you've been watching my random haul videos you may have seen me talking about Barbie pretty love and pets which are other cats that I want to get a hold of and I found those at the thrift store today. And I haven't been to this thrift store since I found that other Barbie cat. So I don't know. There's like something holy going on. There's other things in this bag, but I bought this for the Barbie Pretty Love and Pets. This is Tabby, I think, is this one's name or something? I don't remember. So this one has a haircut. Um, but these are from, I think, 94, some something like that. But they're these weird, like, Barbie cat things that are kind of not Barbie. They're kind of like an attempt at My Little Pony. They did cats and dogs. They ended very fast. They only had two waves. And there's actually some really rare ones that I haven't been able to get a hold of. Put a pin in that. Um, so I do already have this one, so it's fine that this one has the haircut and everything, but I just couldn't leave her behind. And this bag had other cool things in it. So anyway, this is a Barbie pretty love and pet from sometime in the 90s. I just know that it's like 94. So yeah, the first wave at least came out in 94. And then we have, this is super exciting. I had seen this one, but I didn't look too closely. After I saw the Pretty Love and Pet, I was game over. It's a Care Bear. I'm not actually 100% sure what this one's name is. I have two names floating around in my head, but I don't want to be wrong. So we're going to keep it quiet. Um, but I actually had some of these, like, I think this is one of the 80s ones. Off the top of my head, I think I'm correct. But anyway, I had a bunch of these, if they're the ones I'm thinking of, when I was a kid. And I remember one day, like, we went to my grandma's house. I had them in this little bin. And we went there. And then when I got back in the car, put the bin back in the car. And then went home. That's the last memory I have of them. I never saw them again. So I don't really know where they went. My mom doesn't know either. So that's a shame. Uh, and I have a few of them now that I found thrifting. But it's always really exciting to find more of them. Because I don't really talk about Care Bears much. But when I was a kid, I had 
so many Care Bears. They were really important to me. Like I had a ton of them. Um, my mom and my dad were like, they're both collectors as well. Not My dad's a toy collector, but my mom kind of just uh, has a collecting mentality too. Like right now she collects like this specific type of shoes and these cups that she likes. So she's always just kind of been a collector. So she used to like, specifically when I was like three years old, take me and specifically like find the really like rare Care Bears or like get them for me in like a specific order and stuff. So uh, I kind of want to like add Care Bears to my collection again someday, maybe not now, but I want mine back uh, and that's not going to happen because we uh, gave them to my mom's friend's kids when like my mom's friend had kids like because I wasn't playing with them anymore which is totally fine but like I want them back a little bit but I think she sold them. <laughs> my mom contacted her about it and she just kind of ignored her. Um, anyway then we have an Enchantable Skunk. All the other stuff in the bag is collateral. Uh, I guess this is a, a Build Bear Workshop thing because that's like their logo. Is this like a McDonald's toy? Maybe like a cup hat? I don't know. Uh, Fingerling, which is cool. I've never had one. Oh, it works. So these you like... I think they react to things. I don't know. They were very popular when my little sister was like young. <laughs> she, I don't think she ever had any though. Um, my stepsister. And then, yeah, this is like, whoa, you've never mentioned a sister before. Um, and then one of the littlest pet shops from like the 2017 era. We have these Beanie Boo little mini flocked figures. I'm not too into Beanie Boos, to be honest with you. I have, like, two of them that I really, really love, but they're just not my thing. But I love the little figures. I think they're really nice, really nice quality and very cute. So, and they're flocked. And these are in really good condition. So, also, I love the way they did the tie tags. That's so cute. So, we have a seal one and a little monkey one. Love the seal one. And there's more of them. There's more of them. So this bag I got, I wasn't going to get this bag originally. It has a Beanie Boo in it. It has a Little's Pet Shop thing in box. But this size of Little's Pet Shop makes me very angry. And I could rant about it for 20 minutes if you if you wanted to be there for that. But I won't. <laughs> um, but anyway, I think this is a Little's Pet Shop from the 2017 era. Like a big one. So I'm, I'm excited because I'm pretty sure that's one of the ones I could never get because I couldn't find her. So hopefully that is what this is. That's just going off of the back of the pet. Yes, it is. Yes. Okay. There's a disgusting sticker stuck to her wing. Hold on. Okay, we're good. So it's one of the bobblehead, like, 2016 ones. And I love the 20, like, this era. I think it's 2017 is when they came out. So when I first went to college. These are some of my favorite Little's Pet Shops of all time. I know that's highly controversial. When I first started posting on TikTok, I was posting about Little's Pet Shops. And like, anytime I posted anything positive about these, I would get, like, massive floods of, like, angry comments about it. <laughs> and I'm like, I really like them. And I was an original Little's Pet Shop collector. As if it matters. But, like... Um, this one was really cool, so I'm really glad that I actually, that I have this one, and that I found her at the thrift store, and it seems like, um, a bunch of Lil's Pet Shops were here on this day, so, yeah, okay, we also have a Flamingo Beanie Boo, where's the tag on the little wing, the tags are so cute, so see, like, the Beanie Boo's got assorted into different areas, what is this? McDonald's but BVS I don't know I kind of love that it's like a dimetrodon but with like a chainsaw in the back that is ridiculous I don't think it's a dinobot or anything I don't know what that is um I don't like when random like baby toys end up in there because it's like really gross um <laughs> oh a lovely little painted Oh, that's really sweet. <laughs> By the way, the stuff that is like, I don't want this. I don't throw it away or anything. I just redonate it to the same store. So it gets back into the economy somehow. Um, the thrift store economy. I don't know. Um, this is a very cute little pig friend. Cute, but no place in my collection. And then we have... Yeah, there were these like Polaroid frames in here, which were obscuring everything. But like, why is that in the kids stuff? Uh, okay, for some reason, this is already opened, but... They're the medium-sized little pet shops, so I don't super like these because I like them in concept. I'll I'll give you a, a taste of my rant. I like them in concept because, like, oh, they're, like, babies or, like, younger little pet shops. That's cute. But then in this gen, like, there's more of these than there are of the actual pets. Like, these are little pet shops. This size is little pet shop. And I'll be a purist about that one thing. Like, you need to have more of these than anything else. But in this gen, like, the failure of this gen was that they mostly made these. So, like, these were spectacular. They were amazing quality. The sculpts were awesome. The art direction for me personally was really fantastic. But 
by the way, each of these bags was like $3. So that was pretty cool. Um, so I love these, but they would release packs that were like $20 and you'd get two or three of the actual pets and the rest were these. And I was like, I don't want a bunch of these. Like, I like them. I'll take them. But, like, I want more of these. So, it was super annoying. <laughs> like, if you're going to give me five mediums, give me five large, too. That's what they were. They were, like, medium, large. And then, like, the Scrappers or something. They had a funny name. I actually really liked those. Because they were called Scrappers. <laughs> okay. Then, the Pokemon bag. So, I saw this because Marini was here i think or is that toxic effects i don't remember <laughs> so yeah i don't remember which one this is but brett really likes this pokemon so i saw this like out the corner of my eye and i was like ooh. and then you can i think you can see it uh, you can't get the audio in that video because it had a ton of music so i can't keep it unfortunately but anyway i saw this and i was like ooh. and then i noticed that it was a whole bag of pokemon and this is crazy because the entire bag is pokemon stuff and it, like I said, like the Littles Pet Shops were distributed into many bags. Like I didn't even get every bag that had Littles Pet Shops because they were just these medium ones. I didn't mean to throw that, but these medium ones that I'm not super interested in. And then these Beanie Boos were in different bags. There were bags with Palace Pets that I was pretty tempted by, but I didn't end up getting them just because I was like, I don't want to buy a big bag of nonsense to get one Palace Pet that's not even in good condition. Like it's fine. Uh, but anyway, the Pokemon bag is like all Pokemon. I think there's one thing that's not, but super excited about this one because brett specifically really my husband really loves pokemon sun and moon specifically so getting a bunch of sun and moon pokemon all at once was really cool and this dialga so is this gen 4 era and they just put this in or is this from like recent 2018 wait why did you release in 2018 was there a dialga thing or like a gen 4 thing in 2018 yeah that's weird right um, I was thinking for the new, like, Gen 4 remakes and stuff, like, BDSP, but clearly not, so I don't know. Um, but this is cute, he actually moves. I love Dialga. Brett prefers Palkia. Anyway, um, we've got, I think this is Marini. I think Toxapex looks a little different, but I don't know, because this one's attacking. It's not, like, the usual look. But isn't this cool? I think these are the Tomy figures, maybe? It says WCT, so I don't know. Um, but this is a really nice one. And then this, I know, is a Tomy, yeah. I had this exact sculpt as a kid, but like, you know, the one from when I was a kid. So this one's actually pretty interesting to have like the updated one. One of my dreams when I first started collecting toys was to have like one of each of the Tomy Pokemon figures. Like, I mean like one of each Pokemon from gens one to three, but a lot of them are like unreasonably expensive for some reason. So I was like, maybe not, <laughs> but I have quite a few and I really like them. Um, one to three, just cause those were my favorites as a kid. Uh, and then, and I already have a lot of them. Uh, then we have Nebby here. This is Cosmog. Um, is it, are the little arms supposed to be like that? Is he supposed to be like flying? I don't know. Uh, well, of course he's floating, but you know, um, but cute. Very, very nice. And then we have a Grubbin. I don't know. Again, really nice though. I think these, yeah, these are all Tomy. So like, where did these come from? Cause the Tomy figures, they have lots of different Pokemon figures on the market at all times, but like the Tomy ones are kind of unusual to just find in stores. So these were a really cool find. I think the advent calendars they do are Tomy, but these aren't from the advent calendar. And then we've got Picky Peck, I think. One of the regional birds I don't care about. Uh, we've got Abra, of course missing the tail. Mine when I was a kid, the tail always fell out too. I had a bootleg one though, but it was the same sculpt. Super, super cute. My mom would order the Pokemon figures from Hong Kong, which ended up being bootlegs, but we loved them. They were so good. And then we've got Cubone in like a really cute pose. I really like these ones in like the cute poses. And then we've got the sun and moon. Oh, he's broken a little bit. Some of his spikes are broken. I don't even know how that happened. Um, Duskmane? I haven't played Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, so sorry if I'm wrong, but the like Necrozma version or whatever. And then we've got a cute Pikachu, but it's like skinny Pikachu, so whatever. Another skinny Pikachu. I don't really like this pose and like face. And then this is a Mega Constructs Pikachu. Please. <laughs> Nothing against Mega Blocks, but please lose the license and give it to Lego. Because with, with what Lego has been doing with Mario has been so mind boggling. I want it. I want it with Pokemon. Uh, moving on from that. Oh, they stapled through Zubat's wing. Oh, no. <laughs> They staple through things so much. Look at that. That's so sad. Can you see it? Anyway, uh, Zubat, I think he's missing a stand or whatever. And this isn't Tomy. This feels like something else. Uh, oh, wait. 
yeah, WCT, whatever that is. Um, but very cute. And then there's some kind of little Mega Bloks, like, Master Chief or something in here. I don't think it's Master Chief because he's orange, but I don't know. Uh, something else in there. But almost everything in there was Pokemon. Isn't that weird? And I looked at all the other bags and didn't see any other Pokemon, which sucks because Donwing would have been really nice to have because I, I prefer Lunala. Anyway, next. This bag. If you're familiar with Barbie Pretty Lovin' Pets, if you're one of the three people in the world who cares, this will be pertinent to you. But we're going to start by looking at the other stuff for the drama of it. Um, what is this? I don't know. You can sit with the capybara. Uh, then we've got... Why does your face come off? Does your face... Funko 2021. I don't know. That thing. Uh, then we've got Lily, which is Tiana's cat in Palace Pets. Missing the crown. Pretty sure mine is also missing the crown. Are you back there? No. Lily's not on display because she's missing the crown. So now I have another one missing the crown. Um, then I've got this little pet shop. I do already have this one. She came in like a really nice set with her family skiing or something, right? And then this one, which has glitter love this one the sculpts are so good like that's such a good sculpt i really like these uh and then we've got a mermaid hello kitty probably mcdonald's or something do they just fill in the blanks sometimes like with mcdonald's they're like oh, i don't have anything to do right now like there's no movies or anything coming out what should we do hello kitty again i don't know so yeah <laughs> okay now this is oh i didn't know that she didn't have head hair oh that's weird this is the Barbie Pretty Love and Pets. I'm going to say Siamese throughout this video, but it's the Persian. So there was a second wave of these that's weirdly hard to find. I don't think they're, like, super expensive or anything. It's just that they don't come up for sale very much. And I've been, like, passively looking. But this is, I think, Siamese. Even though, like, it's not a Siamese cat. I don't know. All their names are random, kind of. <laughs> um, but there's two of them. I think it's Persian and Siamese are wave two. And then these two actually had names. So this was Tabby. And then the other one is... I don't remember. Um, but this is a tabby with an eye. Like, it's not tabby, like, just a tabby cat. Um, but this one is an unusual one. This is one of the rarer ones. So I was really stunned to find this one. At least in my perception, this one is rarer. I don't know if it actually is. Uh, and I'm very surprised she doesn't have head hair. I mean, that's better. It's more cat-like, but it's confusing. Oh, man, she has a... <gasps> no, her little footsie is chewed. That's okay, because then you display her like this. Ha, now you can't tell. <laughs> um, but yeah, this was a crazy find. Like, especially because I'm specifically looking for these. Like, right now, actively. They are on my, like, daily Mercari rotation looking for them. So, very weird. <laughs> anyway, so those are my thrift finds. Really good finds, like, just in general for my collections. But obviously not amazing for showing on my doll channel. But I've got more things. So, the first... This package, I already opened this to make sure everything was in here because this was a Mercari purchase from weeks ago. And funny enough, this just so happened to end up be from being from Courtly Chester, so that's kind of funny. Um, but I specifically really needed this Bratz doll. And then there's another one in here that I was like, I don't have this one and it's a good price, so I'll buy it. And then it ended up being from Courtly, so thanks to them. <laughs> um, but look, this is Nevra from um, Dynamite. And I knew about all this peeling, so don't worry. But my Dynamite Nevra, she's in good condition. Like, she, I think she has her hair fully long and everything. And she has a good face. This one has a terrible face and a really bad haircut. But I just wanted the shorts and the, like, I think I have the shoes even. I just needed the shorts and the leg warmers or whatever you would call these. And now I have them. Are they super peely? Yeah, but they'll look great on display and it'll make me happy because... If, every time I talk about brats, I talk about this, so sorry. But uh, Dynamite, I had two brats dolls as a kid. I had Diamonds Fiana, random, <laughs> and Megan Dynamite. And she came with the, um, she, she was the special pack that came with the motorcycle. Or maybe my dad just bought me the motorcycle. I don't know. Um, but those were the two that I had. So I really have been wanting to complete Dynamite. And I've had it complete. Like, I have Chloe. I got her for a good price, complete. And then I've had Megan forever, but I have two now because I have my childhood one and I have this one. And I've had Nevra forever, like I've had her for years, but I could never find the rest of her outfit. It was driving me crazy. So finding this one, and I think this doll was legitimately like $7. So thank you so much to Courtly Jesters, because I really needed this doll. <laughs> um, I just, it was just a Mercari purchase, like no funny business with that. Um, and then this doll was just really cool. 
Um, this is Live in Concert Dana. And I think this doll has like a smush face or something. And I knew that from the listing photo and everything. Um, but regardless, this is, she has her stuff. She's missing her like headset or something, but I don't really care. I have so many doll headsets. Like if I really cared, I could find something for her. But look. So I have one Live in Concert doll and it's Yasmin. And it's such a strange doll to display, you know, alone. So now I can actually display that doll because I have this one. Also, I always want to call this line Space Angels. Like, I I know that's like, um, you can call it that, but like, no Bratz fan is going to be like, oh, Space Angels, never. Like, no, they're going to say live in concert. Um, but yay! Oh, I really like this one. Her face is rough, though. I think it's misprinted, but I don't know. But finding a nude doll is a heck of a lot easier than finding the full outfit. And, you know, I'm happy. She's actually in really good condition, too. Like, her hair's really soft. Her outfit is not peeling at all, which is pretty cool and I think I paid like 40 50 like not bad and specifically I wouldn't have bought this one alone but because never was there too I picked this one out and I'm so happy so yay oh her hair is so nice so I'm super super happy to have these dolls and I mean I haven't bought a Bratz doll in a minute and I just added three to my collection today yay well I haven't like on purpose added brass dolls to my collection like specifically sought them out so but in dynamite never was my exception i was like i need her but she was such a good price i was so happy so yay <laughs> okay now i have this package that has the u.s customs and border protection exam tape okay so i bought this from an instagram seller uh i don't remember her username off the top of my head to like confidently say it so i'll put it in the description i have no like connection to the seller or anything i just um, I, I don't think I've ever bought from the seller actually, but they have good deals. I love an Instagram seller. So how these work is they just list their stuff on Instagram and then you use PayPal goods and services to like pay them and then they ship you their stuff. So it's kind of like buying on eBay, but without eBay taking fees from your seller basically. Um, so you can get really good deals on there. And usually it's just another collector who's like thrifting and their extra finds or like cool stuff that they find that they know people are looking for. They'll list on Instagram. That's basically how it goes. So it's kind of like buying from like a toy store kind of like that um that toy store I go to in Birmingham sometimes but anyway there was some good stuff I did miss out on a couple of things that I super wanted like I think there were some good brats or something but I got some really cool stuff that I'm very excited about in here so okay <laughs> I got this little Zelfs doll so Zelfs are something that came out around like 2014 which was when like every cool thing ever was coming out and I was also like 14 and 15 years old so I didn't have money to buy stuff and I'm very fortunate like I my parents helped me a lot and I got a bunch of really really cool dolls at the time mostly Monster High and Winx and I'm super super grateful for that but you know if I had been like this age at that time and been able to like afford a lot more stuff and add more to my collection oh my god there was just it was such a time like it was so amazing it's kind of like right now actually so like the amount of amazing stuff that's coming out at all times. That's what was going on back then. But I was 14 and 15, so it was so magical. Um, Zelfs was one of those things that I just never got a hold of, but I really, really wanted them. And I actually got my most wanted Zelf recently. My friend, um, Ruham's Dolls Race, is, is, is that your username right now? Or is it not Ruham, Evil Ruham, something like that? Um, my friend, Abraham. Um, they actually got me, and it was Garrett Sanders, funny enough, like, it just so happened to belong to them, <laughs> like him, I don't know, um, but they got me Cleo Cat, which was the Zelf that I wanted so bad for $25, um, which I paid, but, you know, like, they picked it up for me, and I'm so grateful, um, but anyway, I really like Zelfs, so I'm just casually picking them up when I find them, I kind of regret it, because there were a bunch of them at the thrift store, I don't know if that ended up in a video, but they were in box, so they were a little bit pricey, but I'm like, I should have gotten them, they were so cute, but, they'll come back they'll come back up someday um okay the seller also sent me some candy do you think that's why border patrol had to step in <laughs> the seller's located in canada i've never actually had one of my packages open by custom well i've had packages held by customs but i've never had them actually open the package they'll just call me and be like what's going on and i'll be like the mug's made of ceramic and they'll be like okay <laughs> like that's the most that ever happens so all right i got another zelf they're so cute I think I have enough for a display now. I think I have like six of them. Well, Cleo Cat can't come out of the box is the thing. Okay. This is a little stormy one. Aren't they just so cute? So they're like loosely inspired by treasure trolls and you can tell, but they're their own thing. Who made these? I don't even remember like what company did them. Oh my God, how cute. The kid who owned this wrote Emma on the back, like their name. Uh, Moose made these. So they're, they're loosely inspired in some way by treasure trolls. Sorry, this cardboard box like scraping against that, but. This is super cute Storm Cloud one. Then, 
Don't worry, there's dolls in here, I swear. This was super exciting. I've been trying to get these for a while, but okay, so the frustration with these is if you've been like following my channel for a while, I talk about these a lot, like pretty often compared to other dolls that I don't have, but now I have them, see? Because my mom got them for me, she gifted them to me, which I have a hunch that that's what these packages from my mom are. And the reason I have that hunch is because she sent me photos of eBay auctions like a week ago of those asking me questions. So I think that's, we'll see. Um, but anyway, these are the Ariel and her sisters dolls. And when I'm looking for them, I always find these instead. And these are so cute. They're just these beautiful pinup art style, like Ariel and her sisters. But these are the cake toppers and they're pretty common <laughs> compared to the dolls. They're pretty common and easy to find. So I always find these when I'm looking for those and it was really annoying. So I never picked them up. But now that I have a good amount of those, I'm like, okay, I'll get the cake toppers. And I tried to buy these from this seller and somebody else had actually bought them but the seller was like hey i actually have an extra one like you can have it you can buy it and i was like okay <laughs> so i ended up with arista i think this was probably arista it checks out um but yeah super cute very exciting these are the dolls so these are two little mermaid dolls just so happens to be uh so i have a soft spot for ariel's sisters i just really like mermaid dolls and the little mermaid is a movie all about mermaids a bunch of mermaids and they don't really make a lot of dolls of her sisters which is really irritating also how cute is the packaging that this seller did i really appreciate that uh so anyway i bought the ariel sisters dolls that she had available so this is <laughs> uh uh tina I think I literally cut the footage here because I didn't want to be embarrassed if I was wrong so I could just cut that part out but I was fully right and I just want to take a victory lap over that because how did I know that how did I know that this doesn't even look like a Tina I don't know with the dolls it's tough because if you put all of the mermaids in front of me like in order I could not in order but you know like together I can name them all but with the dolls it's a little rough because sometimes they change things um but this is one of the Mattel ones I think I think this is Tropical Splash or something and there's some kind of gimmick with the tail does it change colors when you touch it I don't know I think so actually I think it's changing I might just be making that up in my head I don't know um but she's got purple in the front and pink in the back and yeah cool I have quite, I think I have almost all of the Ariel Sisters dolls that have been created, actually, just because anytime I find them thrifting, I grab them, because you don't see them every day. It's unusual. Um, okay, and then this one. Yeah, so this is from the same line, and this is Arista. And, oh, she's so cute. Her hair is so cute. Um, what's the gimmick with the tails? It really looks like they change colors somehow. Um, I love the color scheme on Arista. So... Anyway, I think these are the only two that they made, and then of course Ariel, but these are great. I did not have these. I've never actually seen these in person before, so it's super exciting to have found these from the seller. It's kind of like just an online thrift store or something. I don't know. That's literally what it is, like an online garage sale. Uh, and the prices were really, really good. I don't remember exactly what I paid, but I paid 50 total for everything. So that's these, that's the Zelfs, that's the shipping from Canada and this. So I feel like these were probably like 10 ish each. So not bad. And I'm very happy with my mermaids. Yay. Okay. Putting these mermaids aside again, I think I know what's in these boxes <laughs> just cause my mom's not amazing. Well, actually, sometimes she is. Like, she brought me... I didn't show you guys, actually, but you may notice that those Ariel and Sisters dolls are pretty, like... Those weren't on display before, and they weren't that nice before. Uh, my mom surprised me with two of them. She brought me Alana and Ariel. Perfect. Like, perfect condition with almost everything. So now that I had, like, two of them that were semi-complete, if not, like, fully complete... Like, Ariel's fully complete... Uh, I went ahead and, like, fixed up a bunch of mine and got them, like, on display. I didn't do a video, though, sorry. Um, it was just, like, I was just so happy. It was one of those days where I, like, with no content. Sometimes, like, I love making content. I really do. But some days I'm just like, I just want to play with my dolls. So that's what I did. I was playing with my dolls. I had a lot of fun. Um, I just didn't film anything. So, <laughs> um, I was just so excited about those dolls. Like, <laughs> um, anyway. I'm pretty sure that's what's in here. <laughs> my, um... My mom was asking me questions like, does your Arista have her hair thing? 
Uh, do you have the pearl that goes, there's like a necklace that has like one little charm that I'm missing? She was asking me questions like that. So that's why I'm pretty sure I know who's in the boxes. Okay. So also both of these are from the same seller, which to me is a hint too. It's funny that they're in different boxes though. Let's see. Okay. There's a cute little thank you card. Did she? The seller like hand wrote this, I think. Maybe it's printed. No, because I see spots where they put more emphasis on the ink. That's really cute. I wish I could write like that. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I, I like knew, but at the same time, like... Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. So... Sneaky. <laughs> she didn't send me pictures of these ones. She was asking me questions about the ones that I already had. <gasps> okay, so... The <laughs> So this is a Tina. Oh my God. So if you guys were like, I posted a video last time my mom came and visited me. Well, two times ago, because my mom just came and visited and brought me Ariel and Alana, but she came and visited me and brought me one, at least one of every single um, one of these dolls, but most of them were missing like everything. Those are, those are the ones that were either complete or semi-complete. Well, it's okay. Like, you can watch that video if you haven't seen it. Uh, but that was, like, the... <laughs> this is so crazy. <laughs> um, I've been trying to get these dolls for years. I found out they existed probably around 10 years ago, and I've been desperate for them ever since. But they are so hard to find on the internet. Like, they're so expensive. So... And I, I mention them in videos a lot because I just love them. And my mom was watching my videos a lot a while ago. I don't know if she still is. Because <laughs> she doesn't mention them to me anymore. She would randomly be like, your grammar was wrong here. <laughs> but anyway, she was watching my videos. I could tell. Um, so she ended up buying me like a bunch of like my top wish list stuff out of nowhere. Uh, last, like earlier this year. So that's what happened with these. I didn't even know she knew they existed. So I was just absolutely gobsmacked. Like I couldn't believe it. So <laughs> she's, she's trying to finish her crime here. <laughs> and get like all the accessories, I guess. So... This is Miss Atina. Oh my god. So I'm only missing one now. Look at her. And I think she has everything. Because the only accessories that they might have, each of them, is a hairpiece, a necklace, a top, a skirt. And then some of them have a, knit a tail tie. But only three of them have the tail tie. And it's Andrina, Alana, and Ariel, I'm pretty sure, are the ones. I don't think Arista has one, even though why not? I want to make them all little tail ties, though, but I need to find, like, the exact flower because it's the same flower thing. This one's a star in this case, but all of them have, like, all the ones that have that have, like, the flower from their outfit is used for their little tail flower. So I think this one's complete. I think that's so crazy. Oh, my gosh. She's so cute. And she's perfect. Perfect. Oh, and then for some reason, Alana came with, like, a shawl, which is impossible to find, but... I'll just cut out a piece of organza if I care. Like, it's fine. All right. Then we have this other... Again, this is from the same seller. So my mom had specifically sent me photos of Arista. Like, that was the one. So I'm just going to guess that it's that Arista. So then I'll have, like, her complete. But I don't know. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's not Arista. <laughs> it's Andrina. <laughs> oh my god. And that means I have them all. <laughs> I have them all with enough of their clothes that I'm happy to display them. I would have displayed them nude. Like, I would have made them crappy tops and displayed them nude, but I've been so intimidated by them. But like, oh, I thought her hair was cut on mine. I guess it's supposed to be like that. Unless this one just so happens to also be cut. Oh my god. Okay, so she is missing her little tail flower. So I will, if she's the, I think she was the other one that came with it. I'll have to look it up. But I'll just make her one. Like, it's fine. Um, hold on, hold on. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to put them on stands and put them with my other ones so you guys can see them. All right, now we're over here. Uh, the reason they're here, by the way, because obviously this is not their spot. Like, as you can see, they're in front of other girlies that are supposed to be here. This is where my couch is, so I like to sit here and play with them. And I've just been sitting here several days uh, just playing with these. Um, so, 
I did like hair wax for some for um a few of them so they're in like their hair is nicer than some of the other ones um but I need to wash my two new ones but I just put them up so that you could see them in the lineup so let me show you all of them so of course this is a Tina who I just got and I'm so in shock <laughs> I was not expecting this at all. I was I was kind of expecting mermaids because as soon as I saw my informed delivery set at eBay, I texted my mom and I was like, is this you? And she said yes. And I was like, okay, pretty sure it's that Arista she sent me last week. Uh, but I can't believe it's not. And I'm so excited. Um, so this is Aquata, who is my now my least complete one because she, well, she has everything but her skirt, but the skirt's kind of a big piece. But the skirt would be pretty easy to make, so I'm not too concerned about that. Uh, so there she is. She's so cute. I really like the ones with the kissy faces. They're really adorable. Uh, but isn't that so funny that she has like her hair tie of all things? And I'm pretty sure all she has is a hair tie, a top, and a skirt. So she's only missing that. Uh, and, th and then Arista is one of the more common ones. These three are the most common ones is what I've kind of seen online. Um, but she's supposed to have like a pearl or something. I think a necklace. I don't remember. It's like a little, it's kind of like this. But it's just a little white pearl thing. But that's all that she's missing. Which I can make that. Like, I'm not looking to buy that. But there she is. And she's really cute. I put wax in her hair, but I need to redo the ponytail and I'm intimidated. Uh, and then we have Ariel, who is complete, complete. So this is everything that she comes with. See the tail flower? I want them all to have the tail flower, but they didn't all come with one. So I'm going to make it. I think only three of them did. Pretty sure it was three. Because that's, like, weird, right? Like, why would only three of them? Anyway. She's really cute. And then, well, Ariel's face is, like, probably my least favorite in the entire series. But I have another Ariel who's in terrible condition, but her face is prettier. So I don't know. Maybe this one's just not the cutest one. Uh, and then we have Alana, who I love. I have two of her. Uh, and I have two of her top and two of her, this thing, actually, too. Uh, but she's super cute. I really like her face. She's so, so pretty. These are the exception to my I don't like the weird eyebrows rule because their expressions are so outrageous. I love it. I love it. I love it. These are so <laughs> um, aren't they so pretty? So you can see these two tail flowers. So for some reason, Arista didn't come with one, even though, again, like these are the three most common ones. So you'd think like, oh, they're going to give them to the three, the three like popping ones. I don't know. The three everybody's buying. But I don't know. I'm pretty sure she's the other tail flower girly. Uh, anyway, so this is Adela, who for some reason as a kid, I always thought Adela had, like in my head, Adela has brown hair, but I I guess she doesn't. I don't know. I'll have to look that up. Um, but she's actually one of my top favorites because I love green. Uh, she's the green themed one and I really like her, but she's, she's just missing like a random hair piece. Like I don't, oh wait, no. Did she have a necklace? Some of them have necklaces. Some of them don't. It's confusing. I, I think she probably had a necklace because she doesn't have a halter top like this. Um, but she's so cute. And the necklaces are literally just beads. Like, it'd be so easy to make. Um, but yeah, I really love her. I think her face is really nice. One of the more neutral faces, and I really like her curly bangs. I did do her hair with, like, hair wax, so it feels really nice. And I really like her bangs, but there's a few flyaways still. And then our last one is Andrina, who's the- this is the sister whose name, like, I'm always- if I name, like, all seven, like, I try to do the song, I'm like, oh my god, who is in- like, who is this one? It's Andrina. Like, I always forget her name, but that's why I was surprised I remembered it today. But look at her! So she's the other blonde one. And for some reason, she doesn't get merch. Like, Arista gets a ton of merch, but you don't really see merch for this doll, uh, or this character. But- Look at her skirt. It's really cool. See, some of these skirts look really easy to make. Like, this one, other than the flowers, would be super easy. And the beads, I guess. But, like, this one would be very difficult. But, yeah. And they're not wearing their skirts, right? I need to get them on correctly. Um, and then her little headpiece, too. So, like, I just love the organza and stuff that they use. So pretty. And I just can't believe it. So, I've, with these dolls, like, I've had several opportunities to buy them. And... I've wanted to, like, my my limit, my budget for these was, like, 50 or 60 each, which is a lot. Like, I normally will not spend more than, like, $30 each on a doll, like, with few exceptions. So, be, being, like, inclined to spend that much is very unusual for me. But with these, I wanted them so bad. But my problem was, like, okay, I could pretty easily get these three, for example, with most of their stuff for, like, $50 each. Pretty regularly, they would come up. But my thing was, I would be really annoyed if I ended up with these three, and then I never found the other four. So, I was just waiting for a lot to come with all of them. But my mom <laughs> was like, she, I guess she heard about my plight in one of my videos. I don't know which one I mentioned it in, but I know I mentioned it in my like Frozen dolls that 
are made by the same artist, which I actually just found out it was the same artist. I was always like, they remind me of these, but no, it's the same artist. But anyway, I talked about those in the that video. And like my mom like specifically sought these out from all over the place. Like she bought them from different countries and stuff even um to get me like a full set, even though they didn't have all their stuff. That was just so crazy especially because i don't think my mom knows all these characters names and she's not a doll collector but she's just so good at like navigating like shopping websites and finding deals and stuff so i'm just so grateful i can't believe she did this like this is so so cool and i have a full set a displayable full set and i'm excited to do my little crafts and make them their pieces because truly i am not going to be seeking these anymore like i'm i'm good i have them and now I have that little figure, too, that I can display of Arista, so that's cute. Um, maybe that's my next thing, is I'll, like, casually be seeking the figures. <laughs> um, see, I think this is supposed to be Arista in this set. I mean, it must be, right? It's blonde with the red tail. Um, but I'm just so happy. I'm so happy. These are perfect. They're perfect. Yay! Okay, back to the show. <laughs> that's it for this video. So, a very, very exciting thrift slash mail haul. And... I can't believe my mom did that. <laughs> Sorry, I suspected it when the packages came because I was like, okay, my mom has been specifically looking at these and I know she has been, but like, I didn't even know those were available. Like, I look on eBay. I haven't been looking as diligently because I've been trying to save my money. So I haven't been like specifically seeking out dolls online right now, but like, <laughs> oh my God. I'm so grateful and excited and I have a full fleet like again I have had all of them because of my mom and I'm so grateful but I've been like intimidated to try to make their outfits because if like if I can't make them I'll be very irritated so I've just been like scared to start and also I've just been intimidated because the fact that I owned those was like one of those things where I'd wake up and see them and be like <laughs> do you ever get that like where there's a doll that you've been looking for for so long and then you end up with them and it's like I don't have that doll until you see it again there's some that I've had for years that I still get that feeling when I look at them I'm like <laughs> so that's kind of what it was with those specifically I was like I don't have this <laughs> um but anyway I won't dwell on it too long thank you guys so so much for watching also if you notice this uh sorry I I wanted to film this video today, but like there's a doll room update coming that will explain this. We've done a lot of things in the last doll room update yes well, that I started working on yesterday, so yeah, I didn't want to be filming with the blank wall behind me, but this is the spot that I want to film these in. Like it's perfect, the lighting and everything. Um, but for my actual videos, I think I'll have the camera like face that way, so you don't see that. Uh, but we'll see. Maybe I'll just finish doing that tomorrow or something. I don't know. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching for all this time. Bye.